And right now, I would like to introduce you to the architects. Or is it going to be Owen who's doing the presentation? Or Owen? Okay. So we're going to ask you to join us. Hey, James, where's James Street? Okay, James, why don't, yeah, why don't you follow me with the camera? And we are now going to go to our presentation. So here's the deal. If you have comments as well, hit us up on RainierAvenueRadio.world at gmail.com. RainierAvenueRadio.world at gmail.com. And you can give your feedback, your commentary on what's going on, what we're doing, what you'd like to see in this facility. We're a broadcast media network. As you've heard Mr. Prince say, we have the Creative Arts Digital Media Academy where we teach classes in communications, journalism, app design, web design, film, photography, broadcast, social and digital media, and understanding the analytics behind them. We have, we have uh, internship programs. We have interns from Seattle Academy. We've done, we've done programs in middle schools and high schools. And now we're about to talk about our new building. And so um, here we go. And I guess you'll just do the presentation that you do and we'll take it from here. Thank you, Tony. Uh, so we're really thrilled to be working with uh, Rainier Avenue Radio. Um, and we're, we're amazed every time we um, connect with them in all the work sessions we've been having, um, just the incredible positive energy and and uh, the obvious importance to uh, the whole community. Um, so I also wanted to just introduce a couple of other colleagues that are here. Uh, I'm Owen Richards with ORA, and uh, over here is uh, Jeremy Goody, who's uh, also with, with the firm and has done a lot of the drawings you're gonna see tonight. And Leslie Bain with Framework, who's our, our partner in crime on this project. So um, as, as many of you know, we um, are embarked on uh, what is called a feasibility study, which is the first step to analyze uh, the possibility of um, how we can integrate uh, Rainier Avenue Radio into uh, a space at the Royal Esquire Club, which is um, obviously uh, one of, if not the most important uh, cultural asset in, in Columbia City. So it's pretty exciting thinking about how uh, Rainier Avenue Radio can help uh, uh, continue to build that sense of community here um, in this, in this uh, heart of, uh, of the Rainier Valley. Um, but we wanted to start um, just with kind of restating Rainier Avenue Radio's mission. And um, one of the guiding things when we're thinking about the new program and, and what, what, what wants to go into that space was what we heard are three key goals. Um, the first is to engage critical issues, to amplify diverse voices, and to foster content creators. And those, those might sound a little abstract, and, and we'll get into more specifics about that. But um, all of those are kind of overarching ideas that Rainier Avenue Radio brought to, to the table when we're thinking about this new space. And, and um, so everything we've uh, been focused on is trying to see how, how this, the new space can really uh, support those goals. Um, so this is a is a map of of uh, of the area. Um, we are right here, right now, in the current current Rainier Avenue Radio space. So here's Rainier Avenue itself um, dotted in light rail station over here. Um, this lighter area is is the historic district. So the um, kind of historically the the older um, uh, core of the cultural center, and um, this this triangle here is is the the space that's occupied by uh, the Royal Esquire Club and the other uh, uh, adjoining buildings, um, including the the um, Freeway Hall and and Royal Room, and so we're going to be looking at at what what we can do in that in that area there. But as you can see, it's really it's at a it's a really a focal point within within Columbia City and so thinking about what we can do there that will really help build a stronger sense of community um, and really provide a, a more permanent and and activated home for for um, Rainier Avenue radio is um, what this is all about and um, so next any any questions or comments people wanted to make about this in terms of the map it might be a little bit hard to see at this point so this is a, 
kind of blown in on that that um, triangle. So the Royal Esquire Club space itself is is uh, through this area. Uh, the Royal Rooms up here, Rainier Avenue, Radio, Hudson, and 39th Avenue. And then the Freedom Hall um, space is just to the to the south of the Royal Esquire Club. So when we were asked to um, start studying this space, we were focused um, on this uh, op opportunity to develop the second level space that is currently a storage space above the um, the bar area that's in the Royal Esquire Club. And um, we'll show you some images of that. But um, in terms of the big idea, we're seeing that as an opportunity to take to, to uh, take advantage of a space that's underused currently and to create a new active um, use that would um, ideally connect to the strunt, uh, street front there. And so we've started to look at how, how that could, could work. Um, next slide. Um, we also looked at another option of um, what if we, instead of trying to connect through from the ground upward level down to the street, what if we connected through across on Hudson Street? And we'll, um, we can come back to looking at that in, in more detail. But that scene is um, possibly less cost, but probably not as optimal in terms of the activation of connection to, to Rainier Avenue um, itself. Um, so this option, if you look at this second level space, um, there's it's actually a fairly low ceiling space up there. So what we found as we got a, got into studying that space was that what we would um, what we would need to do and propose to do would be to raise the roof of that element so that we could get greater ceiling height in there and we could create um, some uh, bring in some more natural light into that second level space and um, that. That has some challenges, but we think it has a lot of opportunity to kind of really transform a space that would be, um, you know, that currently is, is not really used much at all except for some mechanical circulation and, and, and some very light storage. Um, so that's, that's the one opportunity that we started to look at. Um, and this is back to some... Uh, some photos of the exterior. Uh, this one on, on the left is looking at, at the building from Rainier Avenue. Um, so this is the space that's directly in front of the bar space. The entry to the uh, Esquire Club is um, a little bit further south here. So the op what we're looking at as an opportunity is to create a new entrance um, to the second level space from here and that would require some rework of the um, a portion of the restrooms uh, serving the bar and the uh, there's currently a kind of a secondary exit through that space. So we'd have to kind of work through how that that would work there. But it could be this opportunity to kind of open up a glassy front here that would provide a view up and a really a nice connection to the to the second second level um, Rainier Avenue radio space. So really provide Rainier Avenue radio a, a presence on the street. Uh, in some respects, what they have here, but in the heart of downtown Columbia City, where it would be kind of more active and more more engaging. Um, so back a slide. Uh, so this is actually the view from Hudson Street. Um, again, if we looked at the connection through from Hudson Street, we would be connecting through on this side, um, which has its own challenges and, again, is not really as preferable as this one. So that's really more of a second second option that we considered. Um, so this is actually a view of that second level space. And um, as you can see, the existing ceiling is pretty low. It's actually, it's about seven feet. So it's actually at the lower portion, it's actually below what's allowed by code for a public space. So we definitely need to, to look at raising that space. Um, there are also some other issues that have to do with, uh, we'd need to look at upgrading the existing structure, which is um, a little bit bouncy for uh, kind of a public use. So we'd have to um, rework the, the floor structure there with some added reinforcement. 
So this is a, um, a plan of that floor. Um, so this is, north is up here. And um, so if you think about this second level space runs this full narrow length above where the bar space is below. And if you start over, over here on the left, this is where the Rainier Avenue radio is. And I mean, where Rainier Avenue is. <laughs> and so that idea of creating a new double height open space starts over here. And then you'd have an open stair and a, a integrated wheelchair lift along here that would bring you up to the community um, gathering space is this main area in red, which is uh, shown here about, um, it's, it's about uh, maybe a third again bigger than this space. Um, so it's, it's a bit, little bit more generous, but we are working within that existing space to fit all the different program elements we want. Um, then there's a conference room that connects directly to that. There's a flex space and gallery space similar to this space you have back here. Um, there's an office, a, con a kitchen control room, and, a, and the broadcast uh, booth. So in, in many respects, it's very much the same kind of uh, functional space as we have here. And if you can imagine this roof raised up with um, some nice uh, higher windows along the top there, that would really be, could be really a nice, uh, nice active space up there. Um, there are some challenges with this that we are still working through with the uh, structural and mechanical engineers to kind of determine what the cost would be for this. And um, because we're raising the, well, because we're introducing a, a public use in this existing storage space, um, there's some permitting issues related to that that we're sorting through that, that also have some cost implications. So where we are right now is um, getting the basic ideas down and sorting through what the costs will be and, and putting together that cost estimate. But the idea today is to really show you what we're starting to look at and to get some feedback about what you like, what you don't like. So this is actually the first study we did. Um, we also, as we went through evaluating this with, uh, with the Rainier Avenue Radio and the Royal Esquire Club, we did identify another option that we wanted to share with you too, which has some other, some interesting possibilities, um, kind of some some pros and cons. So um, if you go back to the overall plan, there is this space on the 39th Avenue side of the existing Royal Esquire Club that's actually um, an old garage space, um, maybe even a stable originally. It's, it's an interesting older structure that has a wood, a kind of a heavy timber wood car decking floor and um, is currently not really much used. It's uh, it's used for uh, there's some boat there's a boat stored in there and some other older elements, but it's it's not an actively used space. Um, it has the advantage of being at grade, so it's a little bit easier to access. Um, it has the disadvantage of there being a it being in not great shape and there being a kind of a cavernous basement space below there that there's some kind of potential code issues with that. But we, we thought it was at least worth exploring that possibility. The other disadvantage is that it's not, the, basically, the basic footprint is not big enough for everything we want to do. So it would involve doing a little bit of a, a new addition, which would be more cost. But you know, maybe if you put the community space there, it could be an exciting opportunity to really create a really amazing space for that. So we also did a quick study of, of what that space would look like. Um, again, this is just a block diagram of what that would be, how it is currently, and maybe raise it up a little bit more and make it a really interesting active space. But you can see it's right on the street on this side, so it'd be easy to access. The downside, though, is that it wouldn't be directly on Rainier Avenue, so it, it didn't have that as much of a kind of an urban connection to, to, the, um, to the current um, space. So this is what it looks like currently from the outside. Um, it actually is, looks pretty interesting inside, but it's it, unfortunately most of the existing heavy timber would need to be cut up to get add insulation and so on. Um, so again, that's that's the view from the outside, and here's the view inside. So it's like I said, it's an old barn, <laughs> which actually, I mean, you could salvage the wood and kind of refinish that. It could be really a cool space in there. Um, and this is a plan diagram that's uh, rotated 90 degrees from 
from the way the um, overall site plan was. So this is now 39th Avenue here. We turned it the same way so that you could see it relative to the other, other spaces. Um, but this would have an arrangement where, again, this would be the new space here. So you could have the community space, conference room, and office that could all be configured so that, that could all open up and be one continuous activated space. And this could have you know lots of glass facing onto the street and maybe some north facing window here. Control room that opens in onto that. And then the broadcast room could be directly next to that. So the control room could kind of serve both of those spaces. And then there'd be a kitchen, a flex space, and um, some restrooms and other storage support space. And that gallery exhibit space would be along, along the back here. So um, that's where we are in terms of the, the basic plan studies. I think that might be the last slide. Yeah. So um, again, we're, we're very early in the process. We just started um, about a month ago, starting or not, really first of the month. Um, and so we've pulled together this, these preliminary studies. And really what we want to do before we go much further, we wanted to make sure that we engage the community and get a sense of, um, of what, what's important to you. Um, and I think what we'd like to do is kind of have a little bit of a dialogue. I'm going to let Tony take over. But we also brought some boards that are kind of represent these elements. We also have a, a board that's just um, questions, you know, what would, what's important to you? What do you like about these two options? And we'd love to get your input over the course of the evening. Um, that's part of what we want to do in this process is really record what people think and, um, and roll that into our thinking as we move ahead with Rainier Avenue Radio. Well, uh, I don't really have anything to say. Um, <laughs> I, I, this, 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 is, this, is, this is your platform, and I uh, just wanted to make sure uh, that everyone had an opportunity to see what we were doing. When we talk about the, the part for us is what we do, which is broadcast as a radio station in the interest of this community, in the interest of all communities.